All right, so I was able to get the, uh, the back undone, so now I can actually uh, unscrew it. So we're gonna see together. Oh, okay, that's what's going on. The, the compass fell off or out. So there's the compass, whoop. Literally totally fell apart. I don't know where this little piece of plastic is from. Now if we look inside there, let me grab a flashlight. Take a look inside this handle. Hopefully you guys can see the construction in there. All right, so you can see the, if we get the light in a better way for you. I'm just gonna focus. I, I can't tell if it's focusing down the bottom, but anyway, the uh, the tang of the blade it narrows down and goes to about here. Okay, so it hooks down so there's enough meat to get that screw through. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice that. We don't need the light for that. Hang on. I'll put the light back. By the way, awesome stream light, rechargeable. It's a dedicated garage light here. Anyway, um, yeah, I didn't even notice this. You can see the actual handle part is breaking off right here. All right, so because of that, I don't think it is safe to continue. I mean, you could, you could hear that. So I don't know, I'm gonna, let's break that off completely. Just to see if, let's say I continued Continue to, uh, you know, see, it's just like cast pop metal. Let's say I continue to baton. So the screw loosened and allowed the blade to push forward enough where it broke off that edge. So the actual screw in there is probably broken off, maybe underneath where the, uh, where the connection is through, you know what I'm saying? So even though the screw would be broken, it has nowhere to move, so it's still holding this blade in. Does that make sense? It is just definitely not safe enough to continue, even though this is completely dull now at this point, throughout the entire uh, edge, it's still pointy. So if it were to break off and come up and, and hit me, obviously that would be a dangerous situation. So I'm gonna say that this is completely spanked, and uh, no longer a usable knife. Um, but I do want to, let's see, does that look like an Allen key? Well, I do want to take this apart though. All right, so grab some uh, Allen keys here. So I think that's an Allen head in there. That looks about right. That is one eighth inch. And yes, that is the proper size. So you can see that screw coming out is that enough to let the blade out yes it is all right so you can see the construction there this obviously goes all the way down until it reaches the screw area in which it goes through the tang so i'm curious i have to bring this all the way out because i want to see if this actually broke or not all right so i can't tell i don't think that's broken Hopefully you guys can see that. It tapers down to a point here. I don't think, I don't think it broke. I think it just uh, loosened up a lot. Uh, because this broke, it allowed it to move around even more. So again, with, uh, with more hacking, I'm sure it would have just, uh, would have actually broke out of the handle. It's actually pretty surprising that even though this is such a cheap piece of metal, that the metal didn't break. I, I kind of, part of me thought that this would just shear off. There'd be imperfection here and there'd be a crack and the whole thing would just have broken off. But turns out the weak point is actually just how it is connected, um, having such a short tang. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Thanks for watching. Uh, my ultimate conclusion, I would say, is for $6.99, it's, uh, it's cool to hang on the wall. It's cool to um, you know experience this particular design. I wouldn't rely on it for anything. Uh, even if it didn't fall apart, the edge just did not, it didn't hold um, like whatsoever, all right? So it just, it won't stay sharp. And when you have a dull knife, it becomes a dangerous knife. 
and inherently by design, it's just hard to hold on to this as it is because it's so round. Um, it just wants to twist and, and everything else. So if you start hacking with a dull knife, it just you're asking for problems. So I would certainly stay away from it unless you just want to hang it on the wall or just kind of play around with it. But it's just one of those knives I just wouldn't actually go out and use. Uh, as far as a survival knife, I don't know. I mean, it did get through, um, you know, some wood batoning, which was very surprising. I really, really thought that it would have broke um, right off the bat trying to baton. So would it save your life? <laughs> I don't know. That is the ultimate question, which I can't answer. Uh, I think it would have processed enough wood to get a fire going. I suppose if you were lost in the woods for two hours, it might have saved your life. But, but was your life ever really at risk? Probably not. So, yeah, I'm going to say that this is not a good survival knife, but it's a cool wall hanger. Uh, and for the price, you can't beat it. You know, instead of hanging a $40 knife in the wall, why not hang a $10 knife or even better, a $7 knife? So that's all. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another one. Take care.